work. Uh, all right. Well, now, you may not know this, but I recently went back to college. Not really. I did an episode of Campus Ladies. Do you know that show, Campus Ladies on Oxygen? If you don't know it, if you don't know it, and I feel like you don't, because everybody was like, what? What are you talking about? Are you drunk? I'm not drunk. There is a show on Oxygen, I swear. Check your TV, guides. Um, called Campus Ladies, and it's about two grown women who go to college for the first time. I have a photo here. Let's show that. This is me with the two women who play the Campus Ladies <laughs> having a pillow fight. Now, it's a really, <laughs> it's a really cute show. Kristen Susson and Carrie Aisley are the actresses. Now, we, you do that show, and it's all improvised. There's nothing. You don't rehearse. There's no script. You just, they just kind of tell you sort of what's supposed to happen, and you just go in and do it. It was so much fun to do. But it kind of reminded me of when I really went to college, because I did. I know it's hard to believe, <laughs> but somebody let me into their college. I went to Northwestern University outside of Chicago for two years. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm a smarty. Now, I wasn't going to go to college at all because growing up, I was a dancer and I was this and that. And I was going to move to New York and audition for Broadway musicals. Well, my mother didn't think that was very funny and she wanted me to apply to a college. So I made a deal with her that I would apply to one college. So we picked Northwestern and at 2 o'clock in the morning one night, I remember I laid down on my bedroom floor and I wrote the most BS essay in the history <laughs> of the universe. And I mailed that into Northwestern and I was like, check that out, Northwestern. <laughs> they accepted me. <laughs> that was a dirty trick. It was great, though. I did a lot of plays and musicals and I learned a lot and I met a lot of great people. In fact, Julia Louis-Dreyfus was one of my classmates and she's on our show today. <laughs> If that's not strange enough, her husband for the last 19 years, my first boyfriend. Yeah. Well, why am I even talking about this without her? Please welcome Julia Louis Dreyfus. Is this? So, so bizarre. Cuckoo. I know. I'm pulling up my jeans. Sorry. That's all right. I'll pull up my. Well, never mind. What yes. I'm pulling up. <laughs> I know all about what you're yes, I know those tricks of the trade. Yeah, totally. So. <laughs> so, you know, when you were just talking about getting into Northwestern, I remember so vividly getting into that school. I got my acceptance on January 11th. It was like the because I was desperate to go. Oh. Desperate. And um, then I and I got in and I was so excited. January eleventh, nineteen seventy nine. No, you did. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not amazing that you got in. But I feel like an ingrate now because you were dying to go, and I feel like like some other kid would have gone in my place, <laughs> and I was dragged there kicking and screaming. Oh well. But a lot of people we went there. <laughs> a lot of people. Well, a lot of people. Uh, famous type people. Yeah. Warren Beatty and uh, Dermot Mulroney and. Um, and uh, what's um, uh, uh, Mark Helgenberger? Laura Innes from ER. That's right. And Clancy Brown. Clancy Brown. Uh, David Schwimmer. That's right. Yeah. How about and, Mar that? and Mark Helgenberger and I were in a play together. We were in Three Penny Opera together. Isn't that I've funny? I always wanted to do that one. What did you play in that? One of the whores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can <laughs> sing now. I was wonderful. <laughs> yes, of course. You were darling. Fantastic. So. <laughs> Now, you were in a sorority, too, right? Yes. I deactivated after the first year, but yes, I did. Yeah. I, was at, um, I was a DG. <laughs> the truth is, I joined... Was it because, Delta Gamma? Yeah, it was a Delta Gamma. But, you know, the, all the good parties... I mean, I don't know if that's the case now, but all the good parties were, <laughs> were the sororities. <laughs> and the fraternities, so I thought, oh, I'm going to meet boys, so I'm going to join a sorority. And that's why I did it, and then I uh, moved on. 
Yeah. It was good. It worked for it worked for a year, and then you know all that rush stuff and everything was crazy. <laughs> but um, but yeah. My that was mom. Kind of... uh, my mom also. Uh, of course, apparently my mom like controlled my entire existence. I'm now it's dawning on me just in the course of this one show. Yes. But she also desperately wanted me to be in a sorority. And oh, she did. Mm -hmm, and it did not really seem like my bag, as it were. Yeah. But she kind of talked me into going through that whole sorority rush, and so I did, and I dragged myself around all those places and then guess what nobody picked me no <laughs> nobody they You're all kidding. no they were all like nope oh Next. my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. None of them. I think I went to like ten, and they were, they were all like, "Oh, ha ha ha! You're great! You're great! You're great!" And then they would call. Yeah, but we don't loser. Want you. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have some pictures here of both of our um, uh, adventures. There's Julia. Now that's I'm not me. sure what that's supposed to represent. I know what that is. That was from the Meow is Show. That Paul Barras? No, that's um, Rod McLaughlin. Oh my god. Yeah, and that's from the um, the uh, Meow Show, which was a show at Northwestern that. Um, it was, was a comedy a, show. It was a comedy show that sort of w began as a parody of the Wamu show that you were in. Uh -huh. Well, we have a picture from that, and this is so sad. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's not sad. <laughs> you look fabulous. Look at your good ballet hands. What a, I was wearing that outfit earlier. I bet you looked down. Yeah. <laughs> I, drove, I drove here in that. <laughs> yeah, that's my driving outfit. And this is your work outfit. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we'll be back with Julia right after the break. Obviously. Now, listen, before <laughs> I mentioned before, um, that is true. My first boyfriend in college yeah. is the man that Ju you've been together for like 20 million, 20, 20 million, million years. years. Yes. <laughs> yeah. million. That's a long marriage. It is long, but it works. <laughs> And, um, yeah, we both have good taste, don't Isn't we? Isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. Yes, very he is. creative. Very creative, very cute. Mm -hmm. And you have a nice husband. I have an adorable hub. Hubby. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, right. So it all hey, let's click out. wedding rings. <laughs> Ding. Yeah, that How about out. that? <laughs> <laughs> so, Julia... <laughs> so stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Julia, it's my favorite thing. So, Julia, of course, is on The New Adventures of Old Christine. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's a, it's a great show. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. And it's, it's, um, create, it was created and executive produced by Carrie Lizer, yeah. with whom you worked on Will and Grace. Yeah, she was a writer-producer on Will and Grace, and yeah. she's the best. She's and outstanding. I love your character. It's such a great character. Now, do, do you feel like that is at all how you really are, or how much of that comes from you? Well, you know, I mean, I'm a working mom. Mm -hmm. I have two boys, and I play a working mom. And, you know, I, maybe it's me sort of amped up. Although Brad, my husband, says he thinks it's me amped down. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, you know, the vibe. That's my it, Brad. That's your Brad. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, um, it, it is a, it's definitely a, ju you know, a juggling act, being a, a working mother. There's no doubt about that. And, and I, I certainly feel that when I take my kids to school sometimes, when the, when the, the moms who don't work, they said, oh, hey, Julia, how are you? We haven't seen you around at all. Oh. And I'm like, oh, really? Because I've been here. Good. Yeah. I haven't seen you. Yeah. You know, so it's a, the, anyway. They're just jealous. They are. That's what See, it must be. They're trying to take you down a peg or two. Don't you let them, lady. All right, all right. You're a Thank great you. mom. Thank now, you for that pep talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Now, and, um, to make us even peppier, we have a clip from tonight. Do we need to set that up? Oh, all? yeah. From, t from tonight's episode. Yes. Well, this is um, Christine is out on a date with a guy that she doesn't really know, and she's unbelievably nervous and uh, very dressed up. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Anything interesting happened while I was gone? Nope. I saw you fall off the couch. Isn't that 
fun. Yeah. I love all that. You're so good at physical comedy. And it's Thank you. It's the funnest thing to do. Oh, do you... I just love it. I love it. And I often hurt myself doing it, but I never <laughs> feel it in the moment. Because as long as it's getting a laugh, it's like being on Novocaine. You don't feel it till later. Yeah, when you're like covered in bruises yeah. and huge scratches and you've got a black eye. It doesn't matter. As long as you got the laugh. Well, you were, on, you were so funny on Arrested Development. You played a blind woman. Oh, yeah. Well, we thought she was blind. Yeah, she was a, she was a lawyer who... Um, was pretending to be blind in order to garner um, sympathy from the jury. Uh, she was a defense lawyer, and um, and I played it. I mean, it was very broad, you know. It was real big time, <laughs> fat comedy. So I played her sort of like this all the time, with eyes crossed. And the weird thing was, is that it was really hard to memorize my lines like that. It was <laughs> because your eyes were crossed. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. I mean, in other well, words, let me try it. Okay. Yeah, now, I can see how that would be hard to concentrate. <laughs> it was. It's really. It's Wait, do you think to... that's having your eyes crossed? Because they're not that cross. Oh, wow. <laughs> we try it again. Try it again. Do they go like out too far normally, and then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> then they were just right. Okay. That is. Are they crossed now? Only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look a little drunk. They, they, I am a little drunk. Yeah, that's what I mean. So okay, good. Yeah. Well, just so we're on the same page. Now, <laughs> sitcoms are great, but. Let's let's move on to more fascinating subjects like reality shows because I know you're a big fan. Of I am. I mean, shows. I know I shouldn't say that because. Um, no, it's fine. It is. We live in a new day and age of reality shows. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, of the acceptance of. Okay. Yes, I'm a huge reality. There are a bunch of them that I really. What are your favorites? Well, uh, I like Amazing Race, American love, Idol, love. Survivor, uh -huh. uh, Project Runway. Uh huh. So you think you can dance? That's pretty much my list right really? there. Really? Yeah. And I heard you snuck into a finale. I of... did. So you think you can do I, it? So... I was not. Yes, one person went. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> was one of the choreographers. I um, I was not, I was supposed to be here working in the office, and it was the day of the thing, and I didn't even have tickets, and I just simply rebelled, and I grabbed my purse, and I ran out to the car, and I drove there, and I, I kind of just talked them into letting me in. Really? Yeah, it was really crazy. And did you sit in the audience, or were you backstage watching the whole show? No, scene? I sat in the audience, and it's, that show was, oh yeah, there's me, that's me, with my assistant, <gasps> Kelly, yeah. Oh, fun. That's, look at my face, that's how excited I was. Yeah, was yeah. Pathetic. Wow. Did you, did you well, have a feeling that that was going to happen, that he was going to win? Benji, for uh, those of you who don't know who won. I thought, I thought it was going to be either Benji or Travis. Yeah. Did you, who did you want? I wanted Benji for sure. You did? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Well, he was on the show. He was unbelievable with Heidi, and they did the Black Mambo. Uh, yeah, so good. But uh, I just love that show, because don't you think it's really well done? I mean... Yeah, I do. I just love it. And aren't you amazed at the skill of these dancers? Yeah, I am. It's, it's so it's cool. It's moving to Yeah, me, it yeah. is. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah, and there's, that's not a cheesy show. Well, it's got a little cheese. Well, there, there's a little cheese in all of us. Yeah, there's a, and there's a little cheese in all of us. That's right. <laughs> Julia, how beautiful of you to sum it up in that way. Thank you. Well, now listen, since Julia's here, we thought it was the perfect time to do the very first installment of My Audience Got Talent, which we're going to do right after. have an audience talent competition and judging from that clip I think you guys are ready so Julie and I are gonna judge and the winner is going to get 500 free songs on iTunes with this gift card that's right 500 okay. yeah. paid for it myself that's very nice. I wrote a check for it good for you um, now <laughs> We, have you ever judged anything before? Never. Nothing. Uh, ever. Right. Well, we're both judging virgins then. Now, okay. Let's, uh, let's do it. You're yeah. not going to go all Little Richard on me, are you? No, I'm definitely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, let's, get, uh, let's get my audience got talent on the road, people. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. This is very complicated. <laughs> okay, our first contestant is from Monterey Bay, California. She has never sang in front of an audience before, so let's give a warm welcome to Kat Garibaldi. <laughs>
going to say too you look like you're having the best time in the world and that puts everybody at ease don't you think yeah it got everybody in a good mood yeah good. Thank you. Pretty. yeah very pretty thank yes. you Cal, thank you julia okay so, introduce so, um, our next contestant i will our next contestant is from vista california she performed in her high school musical bye bye birdie with a broken ankle oh, what a trooper <laughs> wow please welcome angela mccallovich presence and very very pretty pipes. Thanks. I like it. Yeah. I yeah. like it. I like oh, you. Right. Going swimming. All right. Oh, it's a male. Our final contestant <laughs> is from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He waited 8 hours in line to audition for American Oh, we need to talk American Idol, but didn't make it. Oh. Well, now you're here. Let's see if he can turn around today. Please welcome Kaylin Eden. At first I was afraid, I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side But then I spent so many nights just thinking how you did me wrong And I grew strong, and I learned how to carry on So now go, walk out the door Just turn around now, cause you're not welcome anymore Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with your vice? You think I'd crumble? You think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. And I've got all my life to live. And I've got all my love to give. And I'll survive. I will survive. It's Kaylin Adine, right? Yes, that's right. All right, I wanted to get that straight for the record. For next year's American Idol, Kaylin Adine. You know, I thought that you were very nice when you started out. There was a little croonery thing happening there in the tone of your voice. And then uh, you got everybody all amped up. So nice work. I thought that was fantastic. And also, didn't you think he moved his hips well? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> More. Well, I'm just thinking yeah. about, uh, so you think you can dance. What oh. about that idea? <laughs> He's a crossover reality yes. star. That, stand in line for that one next go-round. <laughs> Can't dance. Hey, let's bring everybody back. All of our lovely contestants. Fantastic. All right. Now, here's the, here's the deal. Um, I'm putting it now in your hands, audience. Uh, each of you have been given a voting ballot under your chairs somewhere. And at the end of the show, you're going to vote on who you liked. At the end of the show, we're going to tally it up, and we're going to see which of our three singers got talent. All right? Please watch.
watch The Adventures of Old Christine tonight at 9.30 on CBS and go to meganshow.com to hear some exclusive tips. This is important. Exclusive tips from Julia on eco-friendly living. Coming up, Chris Angel is going to blow my mind. <laughs> Next guest levitate someone on his hit series Mind Freak. Take a look. Congratulations, Thank first off. You. Isn't it a great show? Wow. Yeah. That's so nice of you to say. Now, I know you're going to do something crazy, so let's just get right to it because... <laughs> well, you know what? I was in the green room, and I noticed that you had some dental floss there. Yeah, for our guests. And I, gotta, I must admit, I floss in a bit of a unique way. Mm -hmm. You want to see it? Uh, yeah, all right. Yes. Let's show you. So what I usually do, normally you do it in your teeth. Yeah. I do it like this. Watch. Sometimes the flossing takes a little time, but... Oh, no, it's coming out of your eyeball. Did <laughs> 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 you get it all way? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can see it's really coming out, right? Yeah, it's coming right out of his eye. All right, here we go. The big, the big finale here. Drum roll, please. And you, have, and you have a beautiful brand new set, so I well, guess I'll put no, it in my it, water. Okay. And I'll drink it later. Boy, that's pretty crazy. Thank I, you. I, 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 I and you can see how it. irritated the eyes. Yeah, right? they came right out of your Gotta eye. Gotta keep your eye on me. Oh. <laughs> now, we, you're an incredible, Thank incredible you. magician. And also, before we go more into that, we have a friend in common, Minnie yeah. Driver. An incredibly talented yeah. young lady. She's the best. She was on Will and Grace for a long yes, time. I she know. did a lot of episodes, and she was so much. She was fantastic. Such great comedic timing. And great actress. Amazing. A great musician. Coming out their second album. Yeah. And I'm very happy to say a very good friend. Yeah, that's great. She's got a beautiful singing voice. Yes. Now, I want to talk about your magic because you do things I have never seen anybody do. I first saw you. Somebody emailed me that levitation thing okay. from YouTube. It was on YouTube. Right, right, right. And. I had to send it to people because it's outside. You're outside. And I, <laughs> I'm sure that there's some kind of trick involved, but I couldn't figure it out, and I had to send it to people to ask them well, what they thought. A lot of what I do is real, and a lot of it is pure illusion. I believe when the mind, body, and spirit works together, anything is possible. And what I try to do is to connect to people and show everybody that, you know, you can live your life a little fuller. You can do what seems to be impossible if you just confront your fear and overcome it. Well, you know what you've done that's so great is you've taken uh, magic and turned it into this kind of hip, edgy, you put your own spin well, on thank it. You. But you also do a lot of really dangerous things. You've set yourself on fire, you ripped yourself. Well, it was yourself. my mom's birthday. It was her 70th oh, birthday. Oh, wasn't that a nice birthday? I had to become a human candle. So, you know, what better way to celebrate a birthday? I'm my poor mom. I'm sure she was thrilled. Uh, yeah, not really. I don't do that to her anymore. Does she get freaked out? Yes. It's probably, I would say, more difficult for my family to watch me do these crazy things than it is for me to physically go through it because they feel help helpless you know they can't help me I could get killed or maimed yet they're just watching me and and hopefully I don't 
kill or maim myself. Yes, please don't. Now, will you show me a little something? something? Yes, I, I want to teach you something. <gasps> really? You're going to yeah, yeah, yeah. show me how to do so, it? So, you know, I'm now over at the Luxor. We're shooting the third season of Mind Freak. Wow. So I stole, I borrowed, I should say, some <laughs> matches from the Luxor. And I'm going to ask you, if you will, just to take out any match you'd like. Anyone at all. Take out okay, one. Okay, you want me to tear one yeah, out? Yeah, just tear, accept that one. No, I'm just, <laughs> just take it. Okay. Uh, that's perfect. Now, look, right. I'll play it right to this camera here. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you how to do this. First I'm going to show you what it looks like. You have a match and you just snap your fingers and it seems to vanish just like this. You reach up and it comes right back. Oh. Now it looks, <laughs> looks, looks yeah, pretty yeah. spectacular. But you can actually try. So you take a match out. What you do is when you ask somebody to take the match out, I'm actually licking my finger like this. You lick the back. Yeah, the back. Not uh -huh. your nail, your okay. finger. And then let me steal another match from you so okay. that I can let you try it with, along with me. And what you're actually doing is you bend your thumb back you stick it on there and you create the illusion that you're holding it, but really it's stuck there. Oh, that's how about that? Now you sit, sit there like this, <laughs> and the perfect. idea is, is that when you snap your finger, that's going to be a little bit of misdirection. The match actually is behind Oops. the thumb. <laughs> Mine fell off. It takes a little bit of practice, <laughs> but that's the idea, and it sticks right there, and then you reproduce it. Now the difficult thing is, is when you take the match like this and you place it into your hand, is to really, really make the match disappear. Oh, that takes a little bit more practice, but I, I won't do that right now. I knew you were going to do that. Listen, you got to get this CD. Thank you so much. You got to catch Chris Angel Mind Freak. It's Wednesdays at 10 on a &E, but this is a CD DVD that Brand you also new. have to check out. Brand new. When we come back from Dancing with the Stars, Mario Lopez is here. <laughs> is naked on Nip Tuck, burning up the dance floor on Dancing with the Stars, and I'm happy. Take a look. <laughs> Secure at least one vote for this coming Tuesday with this <laughs> lovely lady. Right I think here. you got right. a lot of votes. A lot oh, of votes thank secured. Thanks for having I'm me so on. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, you're doing nice. such a great job on this show. Oh, thank My you. You've been gosh. watching it? Yeah, I have. I've seen every episode. That I hadn't seen it before this season. Oh, really? Okay. Now, how did you get involved with it? Well, um, it's my mom's favorite show, oh. so she's been <laughs> asking me, me, well, when are you going to do the show? And I'm like, Mom, I, I got to be asked. I can't just go on the show, <laughs> you know? So they finally asked me. And I was, so, I was so excited to tell her, and she freaked out, and then I got involved, and then I freaked out because I didn't realize all the stuff oh that it, uh, it entailed, and, and, and it's a lot, It's man. deep. I mean, I can't imagine the stress level. Oh, man. Well, you know, they give you about a month or so to learn the first dance and to kind of get familiar with the potential dances that you might have to yeah. do. Uh -huh. I'm going to get comfortable. I like this. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Just get comfortable, baby. But now, but now... <laughs> But now the deal is that if you make it through each week, you only have four days, okay? Ugh. Now, luckily, I'm blessed with, like, an amazing teacher slash partner, right? Yeah. But, 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 like, my ADD will kick in, and I don't, I don't like to focus too much for that long period of time. But it's, it's really live. hard. I know. Not know? Only, that's, well, that's the deal. I don't Ugh. want to embarrass myself in front of, like, these millions of people. Then, then you think about the band. Are they going to play the song right? And it sounds different in the floor slipper. I swear they're waxing that floor because they want somebody to eat it because it's really <laughs> slippery. I know Good they're... ratings if somebody breaks a leg I or know. something, right? But you know, okay, so you have to remember all that choreography, right. which is really hard. But right. then also, I feel like they want you to, they want, it's sort of like a popularity contest. Right, totally. You also total... have to be like really nice and do well, all the right, say all the right things. It's just like high school. It's like, you know, <laughs> you know who's popular, yeah. who they like. So obviously, because people are voting at home, they want to relate to you and, and uh, they have all the power. So they shoot like these little packages and try to capture little pieces of your personality. But then they edit it a certain way and you're like, gosh, I wish they could have seen this or I wish they could have seen that yeah. or I hope they don't think I'm like this. And yeah. all those things go through your mind. Now, you mentioned your dance partner. Now, what's up with that? Because I feel like you guys are getting it on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. How do you really feel, man? Don't beat around the bush. It. 
going on there's there? There's a getting it on edge. A getting it um, on edge. A certain getting it on edge no, happening. Th there is actually a no getting it on edge no? happening. I'm, I'm not that fortunate. Well, there's She's a lot uh, of chemistry between you. Oh, you're yeah, not that lucky. I'm not that lucky. No, she. Uh, I, like I said, I, I'm blessed with. Best partner because she she's super smart and obviously incredibly talented and she's funny. She does have the sexy accent that kind of you know I have to concentrate and she wears all these cute little outfits and stuff. But no, it's all kind of like me. There you go, just like yeah. you. <laughs> but, Nothing um, like me. I'm respecting the teacher-student relationship. Most of the time, she wants to I think choke me or hit me because yeah. I'm I, you know, I'm driving her crazy because I can only pay attention for well, a little bit. Well, she's time. doing a very good job whipping you into shape because you look great on the show. You're you're doing oh, fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Now you. You were on Saved by the Bell. That was like your first big thing, right? Right, right. Yeah. I've been back for a little while. I have to tell you, I have to tell you that a woman who is like the head of development at NBC Universal who works on our show okay. had these in her underwear, oh Georgia. Oh my gosh. Saved by the Bell underwear. Now, I don't know what's... What is going uh, on there? I don't know what's scarier, the underwear or the fact that she had them in her drawer. I, it was, it was, <laughs> I'm a little worried. A nice yeah. placement with the pictures yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look oh, let's, at let's, that. Put, let's put those away, Megan. Let's put these back down here. <laughs> now, how did you go past the whole, ch you know, child star thing and everything? Well, well you know, I, I'm uh, I'm very fortunate to have wonderful parents, mm -hmm. and um, I'm first generation actually. Mm -hmm. Here, my parents are, are from Mexico, and they're very blue collar, down to earth, really nice people, and never really let me forget where I came from. It's only a couple hours south where I was from in San Diego, but like a world of difference. Mm -hmm. And um, well, when you were on that show, you're on Saved by the Bell, so you're on a TV show, yeah. and then you have to go to school. Where did people think you were awesome, or did no, they? And, well, here, here's the cool thing about it. Um, I got to go to a regular public school. I had 3,500 kids in my oh, in right. my school there at, at Chula Vista High School. And I went to prom. I went to uh, uh, yeah, you know grad night, the whole deal. And then I played sports, but I never went there talking about being on television because you know it was kind of a tough neighborhood. So if you were showing off. <laughs> They would be too cool, so, so I just kind of downplayed it, downplay that, and I yeah. didn't talk about it too much. Well, and then you've gone on, you've hosted a lot of things. Yeah, that's actually my favorite. Yeah? I'm, I'm always kind of like... I liked you on the other half. Thank you very yes. much. Thank you. That was yeah, a lot of fun. very cute. That, that was, was actually... Pro show. I mean, I've hosted everything from, like, uh, shows with animals, and uh, I had a sports show, mm -hmm. and, and um, game Kids shows, everything. Show, yeah. But my favorite was daytime, and um, specifically that show, because it was the world of women seen through the eyes of men, and uh, I learned a lot. On that yeah. show. Oh, it's so I good. A lot. Well, will you stick around, please? Because when we come back, I'm going to try to get the uh, naked truth from you, and I do mean naked. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. Hello. Uh, now, one of us on this couch was naked on Nip Tuck. We're going to roll a clip. I'd like for you to try to guess which one of us it was. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, uh, oh, Wait, so I hate that they slow low. it down because oh, no. I'm glad the camera stopped there. Oh my. That's like a 25 pack or something. I Scenes. I don't know why you went with that one. Uh, well, but, I know, uh, I know. We're not trying to... Hey, that was a safe and... part of the scene, because in the first one, it, they, they do the whole... And I couldn't believe... My mom had to see it, and the whole butt is showing, and the oh whole deal. Oh, my gosh. Not cool. I bet you could bounce a quarter off that thing. I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 I haven't tried. Just a guess. But, but that, yeah. that's why uh, the acting's fun. You haven't tried. No, I haven't tried as of late. I haven't had anyone try. The acting's fun, and I love the acting, but again, because you were asking me about the hosting, I, I actually, that's probably my biggest passion, but that's why I'm a big Megan fan, because I say I want to be like the male Megan. I want to be the female Mario. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. We're one the same, because you know but the way you balance with the acting and the hosting. So if you ever need a fill-in or you're not feeling well, I'm throwing it out there, I'd be happy to. Okay, good. Out. Yay. You know what I do need? You know what I do need is a little, I need to get into a little better shape, so maybe you could teach me a couple of dance moves. Okay, how's let's that? go over here. I don't know how I'm <laughs> by saying I'm not much of a teacher because I'm barely a student, okay? <laughs> okay. So verse, okay, what kind of music we got right here? I this is kind of saucy. So oh, first thing you got to no. do is loosen up. I'm already loosen lost. Loosen up and oh, feel the music. Oh, 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 get, get your hips moving. Get your hips moving to the thing. Okay, here. Oh, no. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do something with your arms here, okay? I'm going to slip through here. Oh, then we're going to slip around getting here. getting cuter and cuter by the second. And come here, oh, then we're going to dip. Oh, oh, Lord. Dip. There you go. Okay, want to try it again? Yes. Okay, so here we go. I never want to stop. One. Two, three, four, eight. No, no, I go oh, no. through. Okay, I go okay, through. I'm nervous. I'm the man. I'm, I'm nervous. Okay. okay. <laughs> two, three, four, eight. Here. They turn. Come close. And dip. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Woo, woo, woo. Mario, so glad you're here. We got to tell everybody.
everybody to vote. Yeah. We want everybody to vote on Tuesday, yeah. please. Yeah, hello, Mario. I know my friend needs you. Um, this is a touching a hammer. Thank you. Dancing with the Stars, Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. ABC will be right back. <laughs> We're back. Earlier in the show, we played our first game of My Audience Got Talent. And now, I would like to bring back out our three finalists, Kat, Angela, and Kaylin. <laughs> Now, come right, right down here. Step forward, please, into the light. We want you to look beautiful. Now, what's the atmosphere like backstage? Is there cat fighting? Are you wrestling and tearing each other's hair out? We were earlier. Oh, yeah. You were? I yeah, love yeah. that. Okay, good. I don't see any visible signs of a scuffle. I lost a tooth. You lost a tooth. I have an extension. She has an extension. Oh, she... It's in her purse. That's, that's, that's my souvenir. It's not real. <laughs> oh, well, mm. the magic of Hollywood. All right, but you're all, you've regrouped, you're out here, you're putting on a brave face for the nation. Now, do you kids do a lot of singing? Do you, do you sing in the shower? Do you sing in the car? Do you do karaoke? What do you do? Well, I have never sang in front of everyone before, so I sing in the shower. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm dancing, acting is more of what I do. So. Acting is your bag. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> and Angela, what about you? I sing with my five-year-old boy. Oh, how nice. Oh, I know, at church, in the shower, anywhere where people listen. Oh, and he, does he like to sing too? Oh, my, he hasn't shut up. Oh. <laughs> Maybe Sorry, Michael, I love you. <laughs> and how about you, Kaylin? Um, I sing in the shower, my, yell, my roommate yells at me a lot, so he tells me to shut up, uh -huh. but I yell a lot. And um, I sing at school, I go to a music school. Now, I heard that uh, you guys uh, skipped school today to be here. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's all right. I'll, um, I'll, I'll put in a good word for you if you get in trouble. Now, <laughs> the audience has spoken. As you know, we've all voted, and uh, it is time to find out who's got talent. <laughs> now, the winner will not only receive 500 free songs on iTunes, but also they will receive an AudioVox DVD player. All right. Oh, here it is. Look, here it is now, flying in. Uh-huh. Yes. And our, I know it's handy dandy, and our two runners up are each going to get an iTunes gift card for 100 songs. Okay. All right. Could I have a drum roll, please? The winner is, if this is a real reality show, I'd make you wait until after the commercial, but I'm not going to do that. The winner is Angela McCollivan. 